In Python, we can provide default arguments to functions. If the value to an argument is not passed, the function will use the default value when the function is called. The syntax to use default argument is, will define the function using def keyword followed by the function name and the parameters or arguments will be assigned with values using equal to symbol. Then we have the code that has to be executed. I have a function add here, which has two parameters, number one and number two. And number one will be taking one by default. Number two will take two by default. Inside this function, I am adding these two numbers and the result will be stored in sum. Finally, we'll print the value in the sum. Now I'm calling this function with two parameters, 10 comma 20. As I'm providing these values, these uh, default values will not be considered. Num1 will be assigned with the value 10. Num2 will be assigned with the value 20. Let's run this program and see the output. So the output is 10 because 10 and 20 are considered. Now let's pass only the first argument. If we look at the output, the output would be 12 because the first parameter num1 will be taking the value 10 and the second will have the default value 2. 10 plus 2 is 12. Now I won't pass any argument. Both arguments have default values. So even if I do not pass any arguments, this function should work by taking the default values. So 1 plus 2 is 3. We have another example here where the arguments are of type strings. If the second string is not passed, I'll be taking empty string as the default value. So I am calling concat function with two values good and morning. Since we pass two arguments, good will be assigned to str1, morning will be assigned to str2. Let's see the output. We see the result, good morning. Let me remove good. I'll just pass morning here and look at the output we have morning so default parameters will be evaluated from left to right here i provided one argument morning so what is the first argument from the left str1 this value will be assigned to str1 and the second value is not provided here it will take default value morning plus empty string would be morning so the output is morning here. What happens if I don't provide any argument? As str1 is the required parameter, we should see an error. It says concat missing one required positional argument. Positional argument is nothing but the general parameters that we pass to the function. Let's take another example where the function takes an argument of type tuple. If the argument is not passed, it would be an empty tuple by default. Inside this function, we loop through each of this tuple item and I am updating this to do item with hyphen done and finally I'll print the to do. I have this tuple to do's with two values cleaning and dishwashing. I'm passing this tuple to track my work. Let's see the output. So we see the output cleaning hyphen done, dishwashing hyphen done. Now let's remove the second value and pass only one value and see what would be the output. We see that each of this character is getting printed because this is treating this value as a string. If you remember in my video on tuples, I clearly mentioned that there is a type of tuple called singleton tuple. Whenever you have only one value inside a tuple, make sure to specify a comma. Otherwise, if you are using this tuple inside of a for loop or for any other processing, that would be considered as a string. Now, after adding comma, if we run this, we see that it is considering it as a string, a single string, not as individual characters in the for loop. So we see cleaning hyphen done. And what if I don't provide any value? 
uh, let me remove this uh, parameter to this track my work function. So if I don't provide any value or argument here, the default would be a empty tuple. So let's run this program and we don't see anything printed here because since the tuple is an empty tuple, it doesn't go to this for loop. One more point to remember here is when you use default values, make sure there is no required parameter after the default value. Look at this. If your IntelliSense is on, it would immediately show an error saying non-default argument follows default argument. So if I run this program, you would see the same error in console as well. So always make sure that the required parameters are given first. Only after the required parameters, you have default parameters. Now we won't see any error. Okay, this is a required parameter. So it is expecting some uh, argument here. Let me run this and now we don't see any error. So far, we have seen examples where the default parameters are immutable objects. For example, we used numbers, we used strings, we used tuples, which are immutable. But what happens when we use mutable objects? I have the function store even, which accepts two parameters, one required parameter, which is the list of numbers, and the other is a default parameter, by default, it would accept an empty list. So what does this function do? If it encounters any even number in this list, it would add that even number to this second part, second argument. So for i in numbers, if this number is divisible by 2, I am adding this number to even nums list. We have seen that there is a function called append to add items to the list. After uh, looping through all the items and numbers list, I am printing this message followed by the even numbers. So the expected output for this input would be 2, 4 and 6. Let me run this program. Now we see the expected output 2, 4, 6. But there is a problem here. Let me make another function call. Now I would give some other input where I'll have only odd numbers. So 13, 15, maybe 17. And I'll pass this uh, numbers to store even. And what should be the expected output here? Since there is no even number, it should not return anything. Right? So let me run this program. First, this function call is made so it would pass this list of numbers it will loop through all these numbers and it finds the even numbers 2 4 and 6 it appends all these numbers to even nums and we are printing the even numbers so even numbers are 2 4 and 6 then we have another function call where the nums is 13, 15 and 17. The program loops through all these numbers. It doesn't find any number that was that is divisible by 2. So even nums will be a empty top empty list. And when we try to print the even numbers, it will not go to this for loop because the even numbers is still empty because nothing is appended to that list. But we see this numbers 2, 4 and 6. We are seeing this output because mutable objects retain values across function calls. Using mutable objects may lead to unexpected behavior. So there is a workaround to fix this issue. Instead of passing empty, I would uh, give it a value none. And inside this function, I would add a condition if even nums is none, then I'll assign empty list to even nums. Now let me run this. So look at this. For the first function, we see the expected output to print 2, 4 and 6. For the second function, we don't want to uh, see any number here because there is no even number. 